So the other day we had ants in the house and Jim thought he got bitten by a bunch of ants. And it's been a couple days now and it seems to be getting worse and he's looked it up online. And go ahead and lift up your shirt and let's show everybody. Gosh, yeah, that looks worse than last night. Maybe turn this way so it's more in the light. Wow. Yeah, it's starting to get really weird looking. That, I don't think that's ants. And even back here. Wow. Yeah, so he's gonna go to, where did you say you're gonna go this morning? Urgent care. And just see if they can diagnose it and maybe give you something for it? Yeah. Hey everybody, about five weeks ago, I thought I gave Jim shingles. This happened just overnight. He woke up with this horrible rash on the side, left side of his body, and he thought maybe he had been bitten by a bunch of ants or something. I guess we had a little ant problem in one of the bathrooms. He thought maybe they bit him in his sleep or something, which, you know, was a little weird, but it was so overnight and unexpected, I guess it kind of made sense. Then he went to the urgent care and he got diagnosed with shingles. So I Googled it and I discovered that one of the triggers, one of the possible triggers was stress. So I thought, gosh, did I give Jim shingles? The timing was really weird. The rash started just a week or so after he started joining me on these videos on this channel. And so I know he didn't really want to do it, especially in the beginning. I think now he's relaxed and okay about it. But in the beginning, I think he really, he never gets stressed about anything and never really shows any stress. But I think he was probably stressed out about having to be here in front of the camera. So. I thought, gosh, wouldn't that be awful if my YouTube channel gave Jim shingles? So what kind of pill do they give you? Velasiclovir. Yeah, and what do they say it's going to do? It just minimizes maybe some of this. I mean, it doesn't, it's not going to actually, quote, cure it or do it. I mean, it's just going to take it as for seven days. And I mean, I guess it helps for me get necessarily getting worse. What do they say about the itching and stuff and the pain? Is this supposed to get rid of the itching and pain? Pills don't do that. No. Well, how long did they say it lasts? Two to four weeks. Oh, well, that's all? I thought I had heard that it could last like six months to a year. Well, I mean, if you have any of the effects after the scab, I mean, the little things that are now that has the liquid in it, I mean, they'll eventually maybe like pop and scab over. So what did the uh, doctor say? They say it just had chicken pox in the past, it could just show up at any time. And that's so strange. So you never got the vaccine. You never got the shingles vaccine like I did. No. And how come? Never thought about it. Yeah. Nobody in your family had your mom or dad didn't have shingles? No. And that's what made me think about getting it myself is when my mom got it. Well, that's what I kind of figured. I mean, I was had been thinking about getting stuff. And even last week when I went for my annual physical, the doctor asked me if I had my shingles shot yet. Well, said, yeah, didn't you say that right the day before you got shingles, your doctor asked you if you had the shot? Well, I think the thing is looking back on it, I mean, he did ask about it, but I mean, I think because of the first symptom that you get is just general pain before the rash shows up. And I think... Oh, you told him you had the pain? Well, I did because, I mean, I thought, I mean, like for a couple days before the rash showed up, I mean, I did notice like a twinge in my back, but I thought maybe I pulled something. What a I weird just, coincidence. There's nothing that's going to cure it, so to speak. Wow. It's not that you just have to let it run its course. And what it also does is it kind of prevents, because afterwards people can experience Pain, ongoing pain in that area going forward six months a year or even forever okay maybe that's what i had heard that it, it could go on for a long time so i mean that's what the pills are supposed to kind of mediate potentially for those after effects so did he say you should get the the shingles vaccine after after the spots he said it, he would recommend me he goes generally sometimes once you get shingles you normally sometimes only get it once in your lifetime but you can get it again let's see what it looks like again i don't know if it came out this morning when i was filming it was kind of dark in here in case people are interested to see well, what the it looks thing like is seeing it, it oh yeah in this does light a, it looks even worse it does a pattern along a specific nerve it's not random or anything i mean where it shows up is along a certain nerve you know and generally it doesn't go past the midpoint of your body whenever it does. your hands in the way now Whenever you get it, it's just from the midpoint of your body on one side or the other. It's not going to cross like being, I've got it on the back 
you wouldn't cross the middle of my back. Yeah, well that's why I thought when you showed me this morning, I, I have seen pictures of this before and it does look like what I've seen as far as other people who get shingles. So. So it's been about five weeks now since you first discovered you had shingles. So let's see what it looks like now. Hopefully the light is a little bit better. Oh yeah, that looks so much better. Yeah, there's, it looks like scars now instead of scabs. Let me, oh yeah, so that's a lot better. Let me go out here, because last time I was a little bit too close. Yeah, that looks so much better and it's not itching anymore. Mm -hmm. All right, so you got really lucky because it only lasted about five weeks and you had a little bit of itching, but nothing too bad. So, and you don't have any pain right now, right? No. That's amazing. Well, you definitely lucked out because I've heard some people, they have pain for months or years afterwards. So have any of you guys had shingles? Have you had a really mild case like Jim had or something a lot more serious? Share with us down in the comments. It'd be interesting to know how many people have gone through this and they say it's usually people over 50 and most of the people watching this channel are over 50 so it would be kind of interesting to know how many of you have had to deal with this and hopefully you had a mild case like Jim. So anyway we just wanted to share this with you. And believe me even though mine was mild you really don't want to get it. I mean between the itching and the occasional pain even with the mild it still wasn't fun. I've had the shingles shot twice now, once about five years ago, and then my brother told me the newest vaccine was much better, I guess a lot stronger than the old one, so I went in and, and did it again. I believe it was this past January, 2021, and I just did it because my mom had this, and I always thought it was from, that you got it, or that it was triggered from stress, and I was reading about it, and they said, nah, maybe, maybe not. They, there's nothing really that proves that it is, that stress has anything to do with it, but they're thinking that it might. So my mom could get very stressed out, and I kind of have that same personality that she had, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I thought, well, if stress is gonna cause it, I'm definitely gonna get it, so that's why I got the shot twice. So I guess that's it for today, so thanks for joining us once again, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.